Viajando. <laughs> Welcome, guys. We've had, Welcome. We've had a couple of Bienvenidos. Bienvenido to episodio. I'm not just kidding. I'm not here about this. Thing. Episodio blank. No tenemos, no tenemos numero. Just kidding, guys. Um, Hello. Welcome, 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 welcome back to Come to Find Out. Today, we're, I mean, can we can we call it like a freestyle? I mean, we freestyle. And yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. A little bit. Uh, we're talking about traveling. Um, traveling. Me, your, one of your co-hosts. He's like, who are you? <laughs> Let me introduce myself and my lovely co-host, Brittany. <laughs> Hello, I am Brittany. I am your co-host for this episode. Y'all excuse us. We're just, it's just one of those days. We're clinking it up with our ebony wine. <laughs> Having a good time. Shout out to ebony. She knew what she was doing with that one. We're going to talk about traveling today. Yes. We are lovers of travel. We miss it so much. We can't do it as a uh, little bit. Not like we really want to because of this thing called COVID-19. So yeah, we're just gonna reminisce about the good old days of travel. All the things of like travel hacks, where we've been, crazy stories. Um, Because we are learned and traveled individuals. So tell me about your travels. I can't complain. Where have you been? Like not thinking about it. I really can't complain because I have traveled. I did travel out of the country once during COVID. Oh really? Where you been? I went to Mexico. Okay. Oh, you did say that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that was in Tulum. October, the beginning of October. Okay. Well, ending of September into October. Um, and I have been to the Poconos, New York. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to Miami this weekend. Okay. So I travel in Atlanta too. So I definitely have traveled during COVID. Yeah. I haven't, I really, in, and it hasn't really been like because of. It has been because of COVID, obviously, because, mm-hmm. like, my friends and stuff aren't going places. But I just haven't been anywhere. It really wasn't like, oh, I'm yeah. super, you know, super terrified. Mm-hmm. Just being cautious, but also there's just nobody to go with. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to Spain in January. Mm-hmm. And in hindsight, I do remember seeing on the news when yeah. I was there. I don't know if you ever noticed, but there's this little picture that they use for COVID. It's like a little cell. It's like yeah, a ball the red with these red. Cell, yeah. yeah. So I remember room. seeing that because mm-hmm. I remember it made me itch. I didn't like how it looked. <laughs> and that was in January, but it was already in Europe at the time. Yes, I was, uh, in, not I was in Europe when that came out. And so I went to Spain in January and really haven't been anywhere since. I did go to, in September, my family, we went to um, Wilmington, nice. Wrightsville Beach. And we just had a house together. And then um, I went to Atlanta in November for a friend's birthday. But that's it. I haven't. I mean, I did get on a plane only because I personally flew to Wilmington from Charlotte, which was like a 20-minute flight. Like, literally by the time the plane got in the air, you landed. we were landing. There was what? definitely no snacks. There was why definitely did no. You, why didn't you drive? I got off work that night, that morning. Okay. And then at the time, my car had been acting funny, oh, and I didn't you. really like two hours. It was had me on the side of the road. So oh, not to mention, and I have she brothers. Has yeah, I have she brothers that work for the airline. So it was yeah. just a boop boop. Yeah, went straight from work to the airport. Sorry for us folks that don't up anything. down, and I was there, and then I went to sleep. So, <laughs> but um, okay. So tell me, where all have you? Well, let's go Probably internationally. Internationally, where have you been? Uh, I've been to Dominican Republic, I've been to Puerto Rico, I've been mm-hmm. to Cuba, I've been to Aruba, I've been to Paris, mm-hmm. I've been to London, mm-hmm. um, I've been to Mexico, I've been to Canada, and that's, oh, and Bahamas. That's about okay. it. Okay. Yeah. And that's internationally. I feel like I don't, well, I don't be counting the Bahamas, I don't think about it, but I should, okay. You, you haven't? I've, I've been there, but I don't count it. Because I was like... You don't count it. 13. Oh, okay. So you remember. But that still counts. I remember. I just, I just I just realized when I'm counting my places that I've never you usually included in that yeah. one. Yeah. Because we want to cruise. Yeah. That's kind of... That different. still counts. It does count, but I, I, I don't you, count you, it. You know what I'm saying? No, like, I yeah. I mean... I was... I've never counted 13. So, but okay. 
I usually start mine at Spain, and I was an adult. But yeah. um, I guess I'm kind of counting Puerto Rico. But um, I went to Puerto Rico. Uh, that was really like 25 was when I started. So I was went to Puerto Rico. I went to Spain, lived there for a little bit. Um, I've been to Amsterdam. Mm. I have been to Germany. I have been to... I'm going to count Hong Kong only because it was a layover, but we did like explore for yeah. a night. You went to Hong Kong. Um, I'm like, yeah, it was a count. Uh, I went to Bali. Ooh. Uh, Colombia. Dominican Republic. I lost count, but Dominican Republic. Uh, she got stamps on her passport. It. I think that's it. You, so? you know, I was so upset though when I went to Amsterdam, I didn't get a stamp. Mm. Why? Because I came from Spain. Oh, yeah. I think that's why, because it's a part of the European Union. Yeah, mm-hmm. but still, so you don't, you went... they don't stamp within their own. That's like I think to them, it's kind of the equivalent of going from North Carolina to California. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just it's not the same country, Maybe. obviously, but they're in a union, so you don't, they don't need to stamp within each other. Oh, I, I think so, because I was waiting for my stamp and I didn't. <laughs> They didn't get it. So you just not. So you just not. So like, oh, so you're not gonna. Stay, you're not going. So I never went there. So I never right. went there. No. So I think that's it. And then Bahamas, like we said. Um, but yeah. I don't, so I don't tonight care. we have <laughs> our special guest that you always hear about him. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's always, always lurking. Yeah. He's <laughs> in, the in the background. They're like, who's this man in the back talking? Like, who is? Especially it? if you're watching and you see us like turn our heads yeah. and like, who are they looking? I mean, well, looking I don't know. You might be in the camera and shot. I don't know. Yeah. I can't see what y'all if see. If you see us looking no, at something, no, so it's like we're looking over. <laughs> like, who are they be looking at in the corner? We are looking <laughs> at Mr. Michael Foster. I I appreciate you guys having me on. You no guys, problem. You guys have a, a wonderful show. We just, appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate yes. you. Okay, so. What's been your favorite place so far? Hmm. I think that's so very hard because the dynamic has been so very different. And depending on where I was, mm-hmm. like we were just saying before the show started, like I forgot that I had been a couple places by myself, but. You know, I went to Colombia with friends. I went to Spain semi alone. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to Bali with my dad. So it was like it was, you know, it's just different. Um, Do you rather travel by yourself or? No, not rather. But sometimes I need to. Like I'm very in need of a solo trip right now. <laughs> like it's on my vision board. Um, but I had a blast in Colombia. Oh man. Like just, and I, obviously that was because I went with friends as mm-hmm. well. But and we went to Bogota and Cartagena. But Cartagena, Cartagena oh, looks beautiful. I've been looking into it for my God. birthday in June, and I was like, oh. Cartagena now is the shit. I obviously had some of this reaction because I was okay. drinking. Because my mom was like, "What well, no, no, are those drunken tears?" I was I burst out into tears because I had I was having. So I think an overwhelming amount of joy. I was having so much fun with my friends. I mean, we're salsa dancing in the streets. It's raining. It's just, it was just a whole thing. (laughs) Like I'm talking like rain in the streets, like, and we're in the old city. It was just the picture perfect. And I was just having so much fun with my best friends in the world. We're dancing, we're drinking. And it was just like, the pinnacle of joy. And I was just like, I'm having fun. (laughs) And I, I mean, me and a lady, the performing and she's salsa dancing and I'm right there with her. Oh yeah, he did tell me about that. Like story. we just going. And so I just I just had a really good time there and I was overwhelmed with emotions. <laughs> and so I think right now and Bogota was fun too, same friends obviously, mm-hmm. but Cartagena was just it was warm. It's it's just left you a big impact. I mean just dancing and you know, then everybody there looked like me and we're right, all yeah. I got pictures of people with with the, the ladies and they're my complexion and I've always been fascinated with the African diaspora mm-hmm. in places outside of That's the US. Yeah. So there's these older ladies and they're my complexion and they're beautiful and we're just taking pictures. So it was just lots of different aspects of it that I just enjoyed. It was very beautiful. I would definitely say you need to, to I visit need to, Cartagena because yeah. like even like I went and I was I remember telling her and I was just like you did like going there and being there like you say one 
the, the people, the people, mm-hmm. you know, the people are always going to be one of the, like, one of my main determining factors as far as, you know, like, the, the time, that the good time that I have. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, like you say, they look like us. A lot of people don't know just that that was one of the ports. So, it's like, a lot of Africans got dropped off there. And so, mm-hmm. this African blood all through Cartagena. And so, like, they literally are people that look like us and, like, they love us when we come there. Mm-hmm. Like, they love us. And so, like like you said, you got um, the way the city is built. You got Boca Grande, and then you got the old city. Yeah, you know? we were so, the old like, city. Boca Grande. And that's where in Cartagena. In Cartagena. Okay. So, they, they got it. Uh, Boca Grande is, like, they modeled it kind of like, it looks like South Beach. No, I've seen pictures. See, I didn't there. even make it. But we it's just, like, it there. to me, it's, like, the architecture with, the, like, the buildings, and you see the ocean. I'm right. like... Right. This looks yeah. beautiful. You got that, and then you got the old in the wall city to where that's like the you know the old part. Yeah. So that's it's like you we got were. you got like the best of both worlds. Gotcha. Like we stayed when we went, we went you know you know. That was fancy. We, we, you know, yeah, we stayed fancy. you know we stayed in Boca Grande, um, on the in the in the. But you house. went into the. Well, oh, we definitely city, went yeah, to the okay. wall. Was oh, yeah, it an Airbnb or? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, that's what I've been looking yeah, at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't even. I normally don't stay in the hotel. Yeah, we had an Airbnb um, too. Yeah, but um, Cartagena, man, the food, the people. Um, we did some salsa, uh, some salsa classes, and then um, we went out later that night. Um, the videos we've seen was that Cartagena? There is video. Or was that somewhere um, else? That was definitely Cartagena. Cartagena okay, I don't know if I thought that was. Oh, Argentina or something. Okay. Nah, Argentina is a whole different story. We'll talk about that later. But yeah. Bogota was so very different. There, it, it was amazing. And obviously, I mean, every country has this. The U.S. has it too. But Bogota was like a completely different. Yeah, Bogota has more of the mountains, right? Yeah, it's cold. They're way more European. So just the people look different. Mm-hmm. And it was cold. I mean, it was cold. We went in the same week. And we were in Bogota with jackets on. And then you go to Cartagena and it's like so. tropical and, um, and touristy. But we had a great time in Bogota too. It was just very, just a different experience. Mm-hmm. We made real good friends with our driver. He was the one that was, we called him, what was his name? We called him, we started calling him Tio, but I forgot, whatever his name was, we started calling him because we, he drove us around for a while. And then actually when we went to Cartagena, we had to come back through Bogota to fly to Miami. Oh, wow. So we called him again. Like, hey, can you come get us? We had like a long layover mm-hmm. back in Bogota. So we called him, he, you know, took us around for a little bit. That's very um, sweet. Like, no, we got connections now. We can call somebody and take us around. I got Tio's number out there. I'm, I'm like, I wish I can remember what his name was. But, you know, and then somebody else, like, you know, asked, like, hey, who was y'all driver? We sent the information. So it was nice to be able to, you know, just keep the ecosystem kind of going. But Colombia is the shit. Is up there. Wow. And I do want to go to Medellin now. Uh, that's always been Just the top to so. now, I've been to two places. I gotta try there. Medellin is like the because I googled like what's the what are the top cities in Colombia? Cartagena was number one, yeah, and I think Medellin. I'm is surprised I thought Medellin would have been number one. No, Cartagena. Well, based on this whatever website, I yeah, on, Cartagena was one. Medellin, Medellin was two. <coughs> uh, but that was the third one. And Cleve is actually in, in Cali. Like, oh, mm-hmm. Cali. Right now, like I'm like yo, oh, he's like yeah, I'm, you know, he bounces out. Um, yeah, like. I, Medellin has always been. Yeah. Like, I actually that was the first place that I wanted to go mm-hmm. to yeah. in Me Colombia. Too. Um, but it was just always now. it was uh, Medellin is the mountains. They say it's like the eternal spring. It know? looks and everybody I've met from Medellin very city is they like they rave about it. Mm-hmm. You know how it's it's rare that people from somewhere are like they rave about right. that place. They know they're normally like oh it's to them it's kind of like oh yeah it's its home. But like everybody I've met from Medellin is like. Medellin kind of looks like a mixture of like a Bogota. It looks like a very city, but it's still by the water. Yeah, it's in the mountains. It's in the mountains. It's not by the water. No, it's in the mountains, but it has my geography. It has a lot of buildings, but. And I got nervous going to Cartagena because one of my good friends went to Medellin, and I think he's he's a little he's more fluent than I am for sure. Yeah, and he was saying that he struggled a little bit because. Even people from Colombia say that people in Medellin speak fast. Mm. Okay. And so I'm like, okay. Or no, he was either that or he was saying that people from other countries say people from Colombia speak fast. One of those. Mm. So I was yeah. just nervous, like, okay, I'm not fluent. Right. 
can I speak? Yes. Can I get around? Can I talk? Can I have a conversation? Absolutely. But I'm not fluent. And so I was just like, yeah, am I going to be okay? You yeah. know, with the Spanish that I had, but it was fine. It was okay. But I was a little nervous going in. And as we were kikiing about before this, I showed, <laughs> I got to, sh- oh, I have yeah. to send you this, Yamaris. Yeah, I don't even know if you can pictures. see it. It's a, no, it's a TikTok oh, <laughs> that I, I saw. Show me some pictures. It's a TikTok that I saw of this guy, and the caption was, when you are the designated Spanish speaker in your friend group, oh, but you're not God. that fluent. But you're not that fluent? And so I watched this on loop a million times because this guy's, like, in the drive through at, like, Wendy's, and he's ordering for his friend. <laughs> but he's, like, talking to his friend and then talking to the... Uh, oh, so he's bouncing back and forth. Right. And he's just, like... <laughs> I can only imagine. That's a tongue twist. He just like he he did a little Spanglish, but he also kind of was speaking in English with that Spanish accent, like chicken no <laughs> It's like I want the cuatro pa cuatro because <laughs> he went the four for four. <laughs> but he was also so very proud of himself. Of course, but he probably, he did a great job. Um, and I I don't him. follow this person on TikTok, but I have seen his videos, and I think uh-huh. he's he's Afro Latino, but he's not. I think his girlfriend is like a fluent. Uh, Spanish so he's speaker. Not full in Spanish. No, so he does a lot of jokes about like trying to talk to his girlfriend. Gotcha. And um, but it was just, but that was some of my experience mm-hmm. in Colombia because I was the Spanish speaker, and I've only had to speak for myself. Yeah. I've never had to then have to translate it to Someone a group else. of friends, yeah. and so I reposted them on, on my Twitter, and they were like, "Yep." That was that was, I was looking at Brit like, <laughs> "What they say?" What they say? <laughs> and like we had it for the most part, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. But we did have one time where we were trying to get our driver to wait for like he brought us back to our house. We were gonna just run and change clothes and then we want him to take take us somewhere else. Mm. So we were trying to make sure he stayed. Mm. And it was like well, everybody else ran inside and they were just like, Well, Britt, you can handle that. Wow. And so I'm like, you know, it, it would seem simple just to ask him to wait. But there obviously was like one word or something that was missing that he wasn't a hundred percent I wasn't sure that he was a hundred percent getting what I was saying. And so, and then he was, and he was also very friendly though. So he was also trying to show, he brought a whole other book out of the car and was showing us like other destinations and we knew where we wanted to go. So it just, it got a little, it wasn't that hard, but for me, just knowing that that, the whole weight of the situation was on my shoulders, it was like, like if he leaves, it's your fault. Anxiety like on you. And so, um, cause by the end, my best friend was like, we need to all buy Brit shots. That's for sure. Because it was People like it was stress. It was a little bit stressful, and even when we got there, um, there was a like when we got to the airport, we were going through the customs part, and some of this I realized in hindsight. But he was letting us know that the address we had on our form was not a real address from the Airbnb. From the Airbnb. Yeah, usually but out. he. But initially, it seemed like he was telling us that we couldn't go. But it took me a second to realize, no, he just he was just giving us a heads up like, hey, that's not a real address. It's, yeah. It was kind of like if you have something that says 7th Street, Charlotte, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Right? That's You need a number. You need a number, yeah. But when I saw the number, I was thinking that was the number. Yeah, like, their addresses are different from ours. And so it was just like, I was thinking that it was like 7, 7th Seven, Street, whatever. Yeah. So it was like, I was like, oh, he's just letting us know. And so then my friend called the person. She gave us a new address. So first of all, why didn't you give us a real address to begin with? But whatever. She called the person. They gave us a real address. Mm. So now we give it to our driver when we get to the um, transportation part of the airport. We think we're all good. We pulled up in front of a hotel. And when you get to a hotel, they start opening the door, yeah, taking your bags. Whoa. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not staying at the W Hotel. But they're taking our stuff. And so it's like, Brit, What's Help. going on? I'll tell. I'll tell. I'll tell. <laughs> it's like, no. And there... It, it ended up being a situation where the Airbnb was kind of difficult to find and they knew that. So you could tell from the instructions. Yeah. You had to like go this weird way and then go around the block. And, but they're taking our things. And it's like, okay, oh, no. I need everybody to pause. Oh, me no toe. And the driver didn't get what we were trying to say. I think the hotel person, you know, he figured it out. And I kind of got a teeny bit annoyed at that moment because yeah. nobody wanted to just call the Airbnb person because you got to charge, you know. Like, oh, it's have to. 25 cents. Like, come on. We like, I know we got I know we got a quarter. Like, somebody could call. I was like, well, I'm gonna call. give me the number. They didn't answer, so it didn't help. But it was just like, <laughs> anybody even want to call the person because it was fees. 
so it ain't wait, that much. So how long did it take for you to get in contact with them? It was a lot. You it was see? stressful. We didn't did get in. Con- we didn't get in contact with them. Eventually, we figured out how to get there because we knew it had a red door, and we we figured out the issue was that there was a big railroad track going through. It was right across the street, uh, but you couldn't get there. You had to go around, do mm-hmm. a whole situation, and then we got close, and it was like, okay, it's thirty one. No, just thirty two. We kept going, and we finally found it. Wow. It was a whole thing. And if I think I told you this before, but we had to leave a friend. In, yes, Miami. in Miami. So when he got there, we went, we didn't want him to go through there of by course. himself. So it was like, hey, friend, they're going to take it to the, just tell him to take it to the hotel. And it was across the street. And we went and got him. Because, like, you don't want to go really through that alone. Really <laughs> like, that's really good. When my limit is Spanish, it was a struggle. Like, friend, just call us and we'll come get <laughs> we'll you. We'll come get you. So I had the best time there, but also yeah. a little struggle. Leaving I, people. I think and, that's usually how it is when you go to another country. Makes good memories. Remember. Yeah, because it's like, we went through all that, but damn, we had a good time. I'm telling you, because the way I felt terrible for leaving my friend. Yeah, you did tell me that. I was... Leaving him in the U.S. and we we're going to another country. Yeah, and we left him. <laughs> he I, got good thing he was a uh, guy, you know. He can handle. Yeah, him. and then we were flying to Bogota. He actually ended up flying to Cartagena first. Oh, straight. And then from there, he had a, and came back to Bogota. So he did a whole. He missed the whole day, pretty much. Mm. My money's back. So friend trips. <laughs> I, I did have a blast in the Dominican Republic too, but that was uh, different friends, but some of the same. Yeah, some of the same friends. What did you like about Dominican Republic? So we st- that was also one of those trips that was like best time ever, but also worst time, worst time ever. Like we had a friend who love him death. Haven't I haven't talked to him in a while, but he just had a he had a situation mm. while we were there. Um, he kind of had a little bit of a breakdown gotcha. he was going while we were there um, but it was like the last night so like the whole trip was perfect and then it was like last night he said it was the last night and it was just like but it's the last night oh, and okay. it was my friends it was leading up into his birthday oh so you would rather have him have him melt down the first night <laughs> I was only mad and this was kind of like a you know you being mad for your friend mm-hmm. Because this situation is happening as we supposed to be leading into his, like, it was coming to midnight. I'm like, happy oh. birthday, friend. Now we're dealing with you having a whole breakdown. I mean, it was bad. Like, it was, was bad. Were you drunk? Yes. Okay. That yes. Sense. That's not, that makes a lot more None fun. of us were drunk, drunk. When we all had, like, had a shot or two. But, like, we weren't, it hadn't been that much, honestly. Oh, okay. We were on the, we were still on the resort. And it was, like, one of those little parties. And, um. We kind of had the generic shot they give you. Like, if you just go to the bar at a resort and ask for a shot, it's like a... a mm-hmm. We didn't ask for anything special, and they kind of give you the standard shot. So, we it wasn't that much. And then we were going to go off the resort, because mm-hmm. we had done that. We had planned to go off. We had gotten nice, cool with the workers. Mm-hmm. So, we were going to go off, have a good time, and then that kind of derailed it a little bit. But he got missing, so we went off with our... our we went off with our plan to go off to the resort and have a good time. Um, but other than that little mishap, okay. had a blast. We did the the dune buggies, driving around. Um, we dove in the caves. Some of us did, not all of us. <laughs> Jumped in the caves, had a good time. Those little touch caves. It was beautiful. Um, the resort was nice. Again, nice to be places where people look like you. Mm-hmm. The workers and stuff were like, oh, you primo, huh? Primo, oh, your, your color the same as my sister. Like, it was, you know, it was just nice. We don't get the opportunity here to be somewhere where everyone looks like you, where right. you're in the majority. And that was the first time for me. That was before that was before Columbia. That be the shit. Like that that part of it. And we were just like, is that how people feel all the time? Right. No, for real. We were saying that like is this how they always feel? Everybody here we felt like we were having a better time yeah. than the white people. Because we were making yeah, friends, friends with the people yeah, who look yeah, like us. Yeah. And it was like, oh, this is what it feels like to be in the majority a little bit. I guess to me it's like normal because I've been, I mean, I lived in DR Mm -hmm. and then I've lived here in the States. So I, like I have family members that are your skin color and I have family members that are a lot lighter than me. So I get to see that all the time and it's like, I've gotten used to it. So it amazes me to hear like. You, yeah, I mean, like, I have family members that are different colors too, yeah, but, but like having gone to a everybody for everyone yeah. to look like that, like that's normal to me. Like, yeah, 
if you if like a white person was to go to DR and be like, oh shoot, like they wouldn't understand like why you guys are all so excited and like getting along. Yeah. They'd be like. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, what's going on? I remember us being in the pool. Yeah. And like there was a couple of white people, like the the, the bar at the pool. Mm-hmm. But we were just like I'm just kicking it, like what's good, cuz? We cousins with all everybody there. I mean, and that's basically like, what they're saying, primo. Like, really, what yeah. Cuz we had made friends, so that's who we ended up going off um, the resort with one night. We had a pact amongst the friends mm-hmm. that if anybody feels weird, weird. And, you know, we're big on, like, instincts. Look, mm-hmm. somebody's ringer might go off. If you feel something, something just say something. Yeah. We, are, we Ain't nobody tripping. Because by this point, we've lost <laughs> man down. We don't know where the one friend is. Yeah. So there's three of us left. And um, and it was nighttime. So, like, look, let's just be, let's be safe. Let's yeah. be careful. That was going if you feel weird. I think so. I don't remember if we had a designated place. We might have. I just don't This has been like six years ago. Okay. But we were going off with one of the people we met who worked at the resort. And he knew where to go or whatever. So, you know, we're all, we're, look, we're yeah. an adventurous group of friends. We're together. We're going to make sure we stay together. Did we're going to cool be. the whole time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at a certain point, we were supposed to be going to like one of the little bars. Mm-hmm. And we had been walking for a while. And we started getting like real far away, and it wasn't the distance, but like we were, it was getting less light, like street lights. Okay. And we were just like, what okay. Did you, what did you did you guys say anything to him? Yeah, eventually we was like, you know, we kind of was like, hey. So he didn't give you guys a heads up, like, no, we're fur- we're like we're close. I mean, yeah, 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 but it still it didn't matter at a certain point. It was just like we've gotten really far away, and we've been walking for a while. Yeah. Where's the place? Where are we going? What did he say? And like I said, it was just. It was getting darker and darker yeah. as we walked away. And so we were just like, eh. And we hit a checkpoint. Got you. And it was like, okay. We got to go back through. So we showed them our, like, um, resort bracelets. And they were luckily cool. But I never, it's not always that situation. Yeah. And it was fine. Nothing, I mean, it was all good. But it was just like, eh, we're getting a little uncomfortable. We haven't made it anywhere yet. Where are we going? So did he end up telling you guys anything? Like, once you guys got back, like, oh, it's almost there. Like, something. Or did he, I think he was anything? saying that, but... Well, we left the next morning. Oh, okay. Um, but because this was all that same like last night, but we were just like, ah, oh, we ready to go. And he he wasn't he wasn't tripping. We oh, just okay. turned around, and when we turned around is when we hit the checkpoint. Gotcha. I don't know if we went back a different way than we came. I can't remember. But like, why weren't they there when we when you came, came through? But through. we were just like, hey, Paradisius, <laughs> this bracelet, trying to get back, you know. And they were cool. Um, and obviously the guy we were with worked there too, so he could vouch for us. And that was that. So it you know. It could have gone a different way, but it was fine. But we just make sure that we stuck together. Yeah, of course. Everybody got weird vibes. We're not trying to be, you know, whatever. And then even the next morning we were leaving, we did one last minute trip to, like, get some souvenirs and stuff. And (laughs) we ended up, me and, so it it was four of us, two girls, two guys. Me and my girlfriend got on the back of somebody's moped. Well, not a stranger he I like know. and we got his moped and we were gonna just ride to this we could have walked but he was like oh i'll, I'll, take, I'll you. take you and my <laughs> my Living friend DR, that was the best thing my friend gene was like he's very protective of his female friends and so he we got on there but then i think something in him would just didn't feel good yeah and so i'm i'm in the back my friends in front of me i'm holding her and she's holding the driver <laughs> And something I could hear at the back of my ear, and all I hear is flip flops. Flap, 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 flap. I turn around, he is running. What is he behind, doing? Behind, just running behind. He didn't want to lose sight of us. So he's just running behind us. Oh my God. To I make sure he was a friend. we got where we were going. But all I hear is flip flops. Just, you don't have no sneakers on. He yeah. just running down the streets. <laughs> it was just like, my friends, gonna make sure we okay. Yo, how far? Like, it wasn't, it wasn't that far. Out, how far is the moped going? Like, he, kept, he kept up. <laughs> That's <No>. it, friend. <laughs> no ankle support, just you running in flip flops. I mean, he's running lie, in like man. beach old navy flip flops or whatever it was. No. I don't know. So he, but he, but again, we had that conversation of if anybody has a feeling, yeah. He and I guess he had the feel. He just want to make sure that I think he didn't want to lose physical sight of us. So he wasn't like right behind us, but he could always see us. And so once we got to the spot and. He was running. He, he was getting his car. Five minutes later, he came up there huffing and puffing like, <laughs> "Y'all okay? Y'all good? <laughs> oh, we good, baby. So, you good? 
Yeah, it, it was it was a good time. We got a little, you know, souvenir, shot glasses, magnets, whatever. And then I think we walked back. I think I, I don't know. It's been a while, but that was a fun time too. It was one of those like I don't know. Like you said, you have good memories when it was like there was awful parts of it, but there was great parts. We that's when I learned about um, what's the drink. I think I told you. DR? It's DR, but it, but it, no, 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 no. It's a, we learned about it in DR, but it's the Brazilian drink. I told, told you. Oh, um, Caparina. Oh, Because I, I think the girl who was our bartender we kept going to, I think she's she was Brazilian. Brazilian. So she kept, um, we kind of had a little thing. We'd go to her, we're like, what do you want? Caparina. And that's all we ordered, oh like, the God. whole weekend. So and delicious. so that's all we had. So, I, I mean, I know, I know about Mama Juana, but. We had caparinhas the whole time because of her. We in DR, but we gonna make it Brazilian. That's what we had. And so even when I came back, um, when I moved to Raleigh, I was trying to find my little like signature drink. Yeah. And it was caparinha. And the place I went to had a jalapeno one. Oh. Mm. I love spicy. What about you? Michael? Delicious. What has been like your favorite place to visit? Hmm. Been all over. Let's see. I think I'm at. I mean, I think I might be at eleven, but if if you if add ran out of numbers. if you add <laughs> Bahamas, I never count Bahamas. Yeah, well, I think I never look, noticed I don't, that have a stamp, I don't have a stamp on my passport. Man, I don't that count. counts. You went to Bahamas because we didn't even have you didn't, we didn't even have passports. passports at that time. Yeah, because it was like with, with like the cruise. Was, oh. This was back in like two thousand. It might have been two thousand. Yeah, yeah, I was. It wasn't part of the U.S. Yeah. though, right? No, nah, it wasn't. But when you went on cruises at that time. Oh, I wasn't All you needed was a birth certificate. Yeah, like cause we, I definitely didn't have a passport. So was that the whole? Oh. We need to have BJ on. But was that the whole issue with him being nervous, BJ? Yeah, that that was because we whole, didn't have his like passport? birth certificate. We didn't have passports. Yeah, we didn't have. Passports. We didn't have them at all. Yeah, I, I think it was like his. To Montreal. Yeah, I was like twenty five. Yeah, I think it was because they. It was something didn't like have that. his birth certificate, it or something. it was like they were questioning it. It was something. And he thought he was gonna have to. Stay. This looks right. a little suspicious. Right. He thought he was gonna have to stay in <laughs> like, Miami right. or where we were. Um, let's see. Uh, Brazil, um, Brazil, Cuba, Argentina, Jamaica, Mexico, Canada. Oh, I didn't count Mexico. Paris, France. Panama. I didn't, I didn't count Paris. Costa Rica. Um, Colombia. It's always one. Bahamas? Did you count? I don't. I, don't, I didn't count that one, but there's another one. Um, it's the eleven. It's, have you? I'm missing one. Has anyone been? Said Costa Rica. Why? I said Costa Rica. Oh. See Costa Rica, Panama. Is have you only Columbia. done Paris for Europe? Yeah, that's the only place okay. I've been in Europe. Um, it's always I'm always forgetting the last one that I, I said Argentina, right? Yes, mm-hmm. you did. Um, that's Argentina. Well, that's another. Um, mm, tell us about Argentina. Argentina. Um, it was more. It's Latin America, obviously, but mm-hmm. it's more the European. like the European yeah. Latin America. So it's totally different from all of the other places mm-hmm. that I've been to where I'm so accepted and loved when I go yeah. there. You know, they were just kind of like, oh, and they speak a different dialect of mm-hmm. Spanish. Spanish. So I'm down there. First of all, I'm down there speaking Spanish that I know. Yep. And they're looking at you crazy. They're looking at me crazy like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. And they then they was, they was thinking I was Brazil. Mm-hmm. They was thinking I was Brazilian. They thought I was a Brazilian trying, trying to, speak to speak their Spanish, Spanish. Yeah. you know. Um, and so uh, it was it was a lot of um, racial type of undertones, you know, that was going on. Yeah. Um, I hear that a lot of Argentinians. Yeah. Where, like, they're, uh, I mean, no offense to anyone who's Argentinian, but, like, I, I mean, they're, they're considered Hispanic. Right. But they're, like, they're so Hispanic that they think they're a lot better than the other Hispanics. Like, yeah. our, our culture and our country is, like, the number one top. Yeah, Spanish, that's definitely like, the vibe they was on. Like, and the like, food was trash. I was asking about the food because I saw food was uh, trash. there's a show on Netflix. I can't remember what it was called, but it was it wasn't all Latin American countries, but a lot of them happened to be. And the first one I saw, they were in Argent, they were in Buenos Aires. Well, I don't eat steak. It was like, I mean, obviously they're gonna highlight the good places on the show, but they just made it seem like they have really good food. No, like that's how I felt about if Paris. you eat red meat, food. they they they're big for steak. Oh yeah, Paris is another one. The food is. Trying. I mean, that, it reminded me of Paris. Basura. It, I can't 
the food was trash. Was, like, but you think about it, you never hear like you go to Paris to pasta. Yeah, you never hear about the pasta is no, 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 Italy. Right, I was Italy. like, <laughs> I'm sorry, so my bad. France is not known for their no. food. Like, They're think about the last time you went to like a French restaurant. Tarts. Oh, that is true. Think about it. Yeah, caviar or something. Weak. Yeah. Oh, because that was my question when I did go to Paris. I was like, what are they known for? Like, right. ours to eat because we were going to like high end like restaurants. Of course so you like, were. Of course you were. No, I was. It was more so like I was like, okay, I mean, this is this is nice for you and everything. Right. We paying mad right. money, but I was like, but the food was not that good. There was not, I can't nothing. Even remember. And they're rude. Exactly. That's you, you can't even oh, remember. Oh no, 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 no! It was crazy they're because rude. and they know one rude. of my friends did tell me before going to Paris. She was like, "People out there are rude," and I was like. Maybe you just got a bad experience. No. Mind you, all the countries that I've been outside of the U.S., they speak Spanish, but Same. I speak Spanish. Right. So I was like, Same. okay. Oh, besides Cuba. People were rude in Cuba. And see, that's the thing. And that's that's the thing. Like, And I spoke that Spanish, and they looked at me. I had two people do that, where I'm like, hey, can I get directions? And they look at me up and down, and I'm like, okay. But they can tell, like, yeah, you're Spanish, but you're not from here. And that's, that's the thing. She said that to me before. Yeah. But, like, I had a totally different, like, to answer your but question. That, when, that was when they first opened Cuba. Like, hey, you, anywhere is allowed to right. come. So, I don't know if they was just, they just didn't know, like, customer service or anything. Like, they're not used to, like, outsiders. There right. could be. Coming to their country, like, all right. Because most know. Spanish-speaking places that I've been to, they are very welcoming. Yes. As long as you're trying. Yeah, yeah, they're very they're, welcoming. They're nice. So, I was surprised to hear that about yeah, Cuba. Yeah, but Paris was the same way. Like, Paris. me not knowing French. For me to experience the first time being in a country that I didn't understand, right. like yeah, it's that like was my first time. it's like Hispanic coming coming to America or Americans going other, to the Spanish country and be like, what the fuck are you right. saying? Yeah. But, and like, they're rude yeah. and they know they're rude. Yes. It's kind of their personality trait. I went in somewhere because I needed Wi-Fi to order Uber and I was just like, let me just get in it. And they were just looking at me like, huh? And I'm like, Wi Wi-Fi? And they're like. Like, they wanted to charge me just for standing yeah, there. You're using my Wi-Fi. We went to, like, a comedy show, and that was literally a part of his set. Yeah. Was how rude Parisians <laughs> are. And it was, like, Americans would be, like, you know, and they come in a room, and it's, like, hi, hello. And then Parisians, like, it was a part of his set of, yeah. like, them being. Or even in, in, in Paris, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I feel like us Americans do have it easy, and we are very catered. Because when yeah. I went through the train station to get from Paris to London... I had a big bag and I was like struggling to get that motherfucker up through the <laughs> security mm-hmm. just so I can go through like detective whatever the hell. Um, and you have t- a bunch of man right. security guards just standing there not helping right. not one female or anything. And I saw that a lot. And I'm right. like, right. yo, what, what's going on? It's you crazy. guys don't have that kind of manner? Like right. you guys. I think that's just parents. Like, like, they're just rude. Like, I'm like, you're not gonna help me. I'm like, I'm a female. Like, I mean, you don't have to, but right. that's kind of what I'm right. used to. It's right. just the right thing to do. Like, oh no, no worries, I got it. No, they were just standing, looking, talking, probably laughing. Probably she can't get that shit. shit. <laughs> it hit me. The eleventh country. It hit me, and I don't know how I forgot. What? It's DR. That's DR. Okay. Yeah, that's that's like your sister went there. So I don't know. DR. Yeah. Okay. Santo Domingo was the shit. Mm. Um, oh my god. Yeah. The Santo is the shit. You got to experience you got, you got the to city. Go, yes. Yeah, you got to go to Santo. Like, yeah. Because that's. Shit, you know? And I do need to go to. I'm due for another Spanish speaking country because at this yeah. point I went to to Spain last January and mm-hmm. then I went in September. Before that, um, I haven't been to a Spanish speaking. I don't think since Dominican yeah. Republic. So my ear is Bringing. Spain, mm-hmm. Spanish, Spain. Yeah, and that Spanish is very different is. than everywhere else. Oh, yeah. And so. I sometimes wonder that I do myself a disservice by my first immersive mm-hmm. experience so in was Spain. in Spain. Right. I understand them ninety percent. Like I get it. These these like Latin American yeah. Spanish speakers. See, I don't think I don't, is, I don't think you did yourself a disservice it's, it's, because it's kind of like listening to somebody from England. I mean, every correct everywhere you go, any Hispanic country you go to, they all speak differently. Doesn't yeah, matter if they speak right. Spanish. No, but them, it don't matter where them, you them, go. Them Dominicans have a, no, we talk a lot. I mean, like fast. Be leaving out half the word. Now, obviously, everybody fast. does that. I mean. If you when you're at your friends and you're talking, like Dominicans have their slang, like you know how yeah. Americans have English, yeah. but there's like a slang. That's how DR and PR 
day. Like, yeah. if I go to DR and I talk to them and then I go to PR, I'm like, what? What is that? What does that even mean? And then, like, being around, his, like, Mexicans, Hondurians, Salvadorians, mm-hmm. they all, Colombians, like everybody has it. So it's they like, all have a different accent. Yeah. They all call. I don't have no chance. <laughs> they call straws differently in every country. Right. Like, it's different. So, I mean, in Spain, that's it's considered, different. like, the correct. Spanish right. way, like the more formal, professional. And I know how to switch. Like I know how they talk, mm-hmm. like with their accent versus, well, not everywhere else. But I know how to turn off yes. how they talk because mm-hmm. they have the list. The, the, oh, the, the z- they have the the, the thick. The thick Corazón. S, yeah. Oh, I so I know how to nerves. I know how to not do that, but I do it when I'm there. Yeah. And then if I'm talking to somebody that's oh, here, I, I don't want to say that. I won't do with it, that, but that little lispy. But lispy. I think I'm getting on my nerves, but it's okay. And I used to watch them a lot. And I'm like, well, that's the thing, too. Like, I've made a point to, like, continue, even though ultimately I need to just talk yeah. to somebody more, but I listen. Mm-hmm. A lot of the podcasts I listen to, they're always from Spain. Wow. A lot of the TV shows. Yeah, Money Highs. They're, they're all, yeah, they're all in Spain. So I'm like, I'm trying to listen to somebody from somewhere else, but a lot of the, the uh, media and stuff is from Spain. Mm-hmm. I've been watching a lot of Spanish movies on Netflix. Netflix? They've been doing a freaking yeah, good. Great it's job. a movie. Listen, hey y'all. It's a movie called Mirage. It's good. Very good. It's a movie called I watched called The Invisible Guest. It's really good. I started the paramedic, but I didn't finish it because he he was crazy. But I might finish it at work tonight. But they have a, they have they're doing really good. Like their thriller. And, yep. They movies. Have, they're good. I, I think like <laughs> really I mean, I'm sure they had more prior to Money Heist, but for me, like my I gotta opinion, finish that too. After Money Heist blew up. I just felt like every Spanish show that I saw was from Spain. You know, um, Queen of the South. That's a. I'm not. I don't know if it's from Spain. I don't think it's, it's Spanish, Mex- but it looks no, Mexican. Queen of the South is Colombian. Queen of the South is Mexican. Mexican. Well, in well, the so, show, she's right, from Mexico. Right, right. I know there was an original one too. Yeah, the original right. one is on. I yeah, think it's on she's Netflix. Colombian. The original one. The original one might be Colombian. I'm tripping. Don't but the the one that's on. But I watched it. I just can't remember if it was Mexican. She was from Mexico. Yeah, her guy Mexico. was Colombian, I think. Um, the the white guy, his people, they, whatever. I I the one that yeah, well, <laughs> Queen of the South. The one that yeah. died but didn't really die. Right, right. What, what was his name? I don't even remember. Uh, Sebastian? No. I, guess I gotta get back. <laughs> I don't know where Sebastian came from, but that is not his name. I gotta get back on Queen of the South because I didn't. I, I they finished about to start it. back up soon. I they probably. I they gotta be at least what I haven't seen it in a while. Five by now. Yeah. Yeah. The last. I think I. Tapped out around maybe the end of the two. Last, the last no, season I they were in the uh, New Orleans. They were New oh, Orleans. I didn't yeah, make it there. Yeah, I, watched, I made it that far. Yeah. But I tried to watch. You know, obviously the it, the if it's Mex, I think it's Mexican. But if it is, you know, there the quality is different. It looks more like a novella. Like it, the the yes. quality is different. So I tried to watch it, but it was hard after already having seen, you know, the version that I've seen. Right. It was hard to switch. But I was curious just to see what it was like. Um, you know where where it came from, what, right. what they're getting it from, but ultimately, and I've I've seen her in some other movies. I like her as an actress. Teresita, don't, don't Teresita. know her name. Alice, oh, yeah, Alice Braga. Yeah, Alice it, Braga. It yeah, because she was in. Um, it is from Mexico. I am Legend. She was in that. Mm. I've, I've learned it's it's weird, but I didn't know it, but I know her voice mm. because in I Am Legend, she's narrating. Oh, okay. And so I heard her talking one time or something else. I was like. Went to my Google. And that was there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a good show. And I am. This is kind of an aside, but I'm really enjoying the foreign film section of Netflix. Mm-hmm. It's some good movies out there. It's just yeah. you gotta be. You have to be patient to sit there and read the subtitles. Obviously, right. now when it's a Spanish speaking movie, I'm trying to also listen. But it's a lot of Korean movies on Netflix too. I'm sorry. A lot of them. I I can't. It's hard. Them. It's, but I think it's just the Here, it's yeah. hard to listen to but for me it's easy, it's easy to listen to Spanish right Korean is a little harder to listen to like, and like pay attention yeah cause I have to read the subtitles and I'm like, yeah wait, 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 what? <laughs> but they be good if you, can, if you can get there they are good I was gonna ask you did you uh, have you ever watched did you ever watch Narcos um, on Netflix when I, it first came out I right. did I stopped that I didn't yeah head. I didn't continue yeah I didn't yeah. after Pablo got killed I didn't yeah, I was like, yeah. It, it went on for a while <laughs> didn't it? Oh, it's, yeah, it's still on yeah, yeah. Cartel, and then they had the Mexican yeah. you know but that was after yeah. Pablo yeah. got killed I haven't watched it in a while then. it was probably like I don't know if I made it past the first season honestly 
Oh, I'm thinking because wow. I remember where I was living. I remember where I was living so when you I never watched saw it. Pablo get killed. What? I don't think so. Oh, oh, yeah, I think yeah. I was early, early oh, yeah. Narcos. Nah, you gotta. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta go back and revisit that. That was a whole exciting right. thing. Right. Because they're talking about, you know, they're dealing with the in Medellin and, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Cartagena and Cali and, Cali and Cali. all of that. Like, it's, you get Bogota. the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, the whole Colombia. Went, yeah, yeah. Like, so yeah. You, when you've been there, if you've, you've gone there before, that right. you really, that's why I was watching. Like, oh yeah. shit, like, I know about what they, they That's why about. I made me scared to go to Colombia. I was like, oh. <laughs> A lot of insult. <laughs> I'm a, to bring it back around, I guess, to the travel, we had a, fr- we, when I went, it was for a friend's birthday. And, we had another friend well she had another friend who was like nervous to go because she was just like oh I I just I'm gonna be the one and it was like look if you can't have fun just don't come and she felt bad but the girl decided to not go on her own but it was just like look if you can't even have a good time no. We don't want that we any. Don't want that we anymore. having a, we having fun. We saucing in the streets. We like if you if you nervous, then just stay here. So I'll be the one to get chopped up. Like don't do that. You can get chopped up in the U.S. So that's facts. Well, well <laughs> we say we're at the same time. <laughs> we could talk about traveling literally all day. Like we have a million other yes stories. But we have to come have back to it. Episode yeah on our travel stories. Thank part you. part do do who so speak much. French? Not part, me. Part do do. Child. Part two. Child, that's all I know. <laughs> all right, see y'all next time. Thank you. Thank you.